So today we've got all the, the major equipment components are set. We're basically uh, in the final stages of setting all the structural steel, final stages of setting the, the inlet air duct and uh, the chillers. And we're in building mode right now. We're starting to go up with uh, the control room masonry, starting the final steps of pouring the, uh, the elevated slab underneath the electrical building. So with that will come the electrical building and then all the build outs for the control room as well as setting the final components inside the electrical room and then running all our wiring to various locations throughout the, the plant. We're in the electrical building. Um, as you can see, this is where all the, uh, we've got the SCADA, the SCADA panel, we've got the transfer switch panel, uh, MCCs, basically the heart and soul of the whole plant in here. So as you can see, the guys are working on pulling cables from this point out to the various areas. And now they're beginning to terminate the cables into each panel. This is gonna control motors, blowers, valves, uh, related to the, the Herzig. The, the plant's gonna be controlled from the control building. Basically, everything is gonna run from here to there. You could control it from here or in the control building, but obviously, the, you know, you're not going to want to set up shop in here. You don't want to put all this big equipment in where you're going to be sitting every day. In the control building, an operator will push a button to activate a specific function or device. When the activation command enters the control system, all devices that are needed for this function will be activated automatically and in a proper sequence. Likewise, other devices or systems may be deactivated as needed for this specific function. So that's why it comes here and then it'll be fed basically all the, the CCS, which is the control system, will run over to the control room and then all the devices can be controlled off a computer in the control building.